Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Vortex Mod Manager. So here, I recently did a video to install Vortex Mod Manager on my Steam Deck and this helps you manage your mods, install, uninstall, enable, disable. It's really useful, but uh, you need to know how to set it up because you need to set up Vortex Mod Manager with your game and in order for it to work. So let's do a deep dive. If you haven't installed Vortex Mod Manager and you would like to, I have a video on this and I'll leave a link in the description. And I also put a card up, shortcut right now in the video. So you can click the top right corner. Okay, so I assume that you already installed Vortex Mod Manager on your Steam Deck. A viewer told me that he couldn't get um, Cyberpunk 2077. He wanted to install the Cyber Engine tweaks. So let's do a demonstration for that. So once you open Vortex Mod Manager, go into Games, and you see I don't have Cyberpunk linked up, so I can't manage the game right now. So you need to search for it. Okay, so Cyberpunk, and then click Manage. So if it's the first time, you don't have the extension, so you need to click Download, and it'll automatically download the extension and install, and then Vortex will restart itself. Yeah, this for the first time. Okay, so it couldn't find the game folder manual uh, automatically, so we need to do it manually. So continue, and you'll find that you'll have difficulty um, locating your game on Steam Deck because normally the game, if it's on Steam, it's normally located here. So it's normally located in Home, and then um, and then dot Steam. So it's a hidden folder, and you can't get to the hidden folder. So let's say you go here, Home. You can't find the dot steam folder here or even in that you can't normally i'll type it here dot steam and it will work but it doesn't work for vortex so what's my workaround this is what i do so i go to proton tricks so make sure you have proton tricks installed if you don't go into your discover store here and then type proton And you should be able to see this, the wine glass, you download this, all right? So normally I open my Proton Tricks and then I'll look for my Vortex Mod Manager, the non-Steam. So it's located here, 28892. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to home, dot Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and then 28892, uh, this one, this is the folder for my Vortex. So this is the prefix folder for my Vortex, so drive C. All right, and then I'm going to, what I'm gonna do, most of your games actually stored here in your Steam apps. So I'm gonna open a new tab here. Okay, so this is my Steam apps folder. So if it's a non-Steam game, it's normally located inside here, compact data, see all these folders, these are non-Steam game. If it's a Steam game, it's normally installed here in common. So you can see I've got Monster Hunter Rise. These are the Steam games. So, so this folder is very useful. So I'm going to actually move this Steam Apps game, uh, not the game, Steam Apps folder, move it to the drive C of my Vortex. And I'm not going to move. I'm going to use Link. So it's just a link. I don't actually move the files over here. It's a link. So now back in Vortex. Oh, my game is not linked. Okay, so I could probably search for it again. So Cyberpunk manage and it can't find the game folder automatically so we're going to do it manually so now since i've linked it i go to my computer c drive and you can see i've got a steam apps here so it's linked okay so then compact data and i'm going to locate my cyberpunk so cyberpunk the full the folder name is actually 32112 so here 32112 this one this is my cyberpunk directory the cyberpunk and then i'm going to open all right let's go try to link it okay switch game mode okay done so let me go take a look let me take a look at the folder so compact data three two one one two prefix Drive C. Okay, it automatically did that. That's weird. Let me see. So mods.
Okay, this is what normally happens because I think I, because I did it before. This is normally what would happen when you link it. It says mods can't be deployed. And you take a look, it's because it can't access that folder that we just did. So next, you'll see that it's, it's the problem is there's no hard link deployment. And the solution is go to settings and you have to create a stage, a mod staging folder in the same drive as the game. All right. So what I did was I go inside here to my cyberpunk uh, location. So drive C, you can see cyberpunk. Here I'm gonna add, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it mod staging. All right, so it's in, it's in the same drive. It's on the same drive C as my cyberpunk. I can't, you can't install it, like you can't create the folder inside your game folder. You do it on the same drive, that's okay. And then I'm just going to locate it, okay? So drive C. Theme apps, compact data, um, three, two, one, one, two, prefix, drive C. Then I'm gonna select mod staging. This is the folder. Okay, and then I'm gonna click apply. All right, so that helps it do its thing. All right, so that's what you need to do. Go into settings and then go to mods and you change the mod staging folder. You have to create it yourself into the same directory as your game folder, all right? So make sure this is important. Okay, so now that's done, we should be able to manage our game now. We don't have any issues. So go to downloads. Oh, actually, I, I normally go to here, game, and then I'm going to open the Nexus page. So in the Nexus mod page, I'm going to most endorsed. I'm going to find this Cyber Engine Twix. This is the mod that we want to install. So I'm going to copy this link, copy. And then here in downloads, I'm going to add the DRL, uh, sorry, the URL. Okay, and then download. It should open inside the Vortex mod manager. And go to files. And then I'm going to click mod manager download. Slow download. Is it done? Do I press it? Okay, now it's done. Okay. So cancel. So you can see here, it's automatically downloading. Downloading in your Vortex mod manager. So patch 2.0 support. And then we go to mods. It should once it's finished downloading, it's got to install automatically here. Okay. And normally people would think it's it's finished. You you've already like installed it. But because this mod for this game it requires dependencies, Vortex Mod Manager can't do it for you. It, it probably could do it for you on Windows, but on Steam Deck it can't. Because like Steam OS is actually a Linux. So this is really based on Windows. So what you need to do, okay, let me test out the game first. So let's say it's done. Let's say we, we think it's done. Let's run the game. So Cyberpunk, let's run the game. I think I should stop the Vortex Mod Manager. Okay, let's stop it. Let's stop it. So I'm running Cyberpunk right now. Let's see if it works. So it's not working. I know it's not working because if you install um, Cyber Engine Twix, the first thing when you load the game, it pops up and asks you to bind a key to toggle on the overlay, and which I didn't get. All right, so it's not working because we need to install dependencies, and we also need to do a DLL override. All right, let's see. Let's get into the main screen. Okay, see, no, nothing happened. See, I've got Phantom Liberty installed. Okay, so let's just quit the game. So I know how to fix this. We need to use Proton Tricks. So that program that you installed, if you didn't already, and then go into non-Steam game, Cyberpunk. So I'm gonna double click it. And there's a few things we need to do. Wait for it. So once you double click it, it feels like nothing's happening, but it's working on the background, don't panic. Okay, so select a default wine prefix. Okay, and then first thing we need to do, run wine config. Okay, 
because uh, we need to go into this screen, Wine Configuration, go to Libraries, and then New Override for Library, go down to Version. There's a something called Version. Uh, let me find it here, Version. Or you could just type it, Version, then Add. So we added a DLL Override. First, uh, by default, it doesn't know how to load this. And this is the um, a DLL for the for the mod sub engine tweaks. So apply, OK. And then we also need to install the dependencies. So install a Windows DLL or component. You need to take D3D compiler 47. And you also need VC run. So VC run, I think it was 2019. Okay, let's do 2019. Okay. I can't remember. I installed it a long time ago. It should be, it's either 2019 or 2022. I think it's 2019. It worked. So just wait for it. So once you've done this, it also looks like it's nothing's happening. Yeah, just don't panic. Just wait for stuff to work. Should pop out any second. Yep, like this. Just click OK. Looks like it's messed up, but no, it's it's working. Okay, you're getting all these like signs that it's like stop. Okay, but it's actually working. So install. Okay. You need to install it twice, one for x86 and one for x64. So x64 one now. Okay, close. That done. Feels like it's done. Okay, no. Yeah, normally you, you go back to this screen. That's when you know it's done. And then you could check if it's installed by going to install the Windows DLL or component again. You can go into it again and then you can see it's ticked. It's checked. So scroll down. Yeah. Visual C. Yeah, it's it's checked. All right. So now we know it's installed. We can run the game again. And it should work. So let's run the game again. Okay, see here? C E T first time setup. That means we've Installed Cyber Engine Tweaks. So you select the key. So I'm going to bind a key. So now I can toggle this overlay to use cheats or mods. I can like toggle on or off by pressing the, the key. You can assign any key you want. All right. So I'm going to alternate F4, get out of it. Now I'm going to check if Vortex Manager really works. I'm going to disable the mod. Okay, and run the game again. So let's open Vortex Mod Manager. We don't have to uninstall the mod, we just disable it. And then if we want to enable, we can enable it again. So that's why it's so useful because if you don't have a mod manager, you're installing mods, you're transferring files to a game folder, and then when you want to delete it or not use it, you probably have to delete the files. For this, we can just go to Mods, and then I'm going to click here, Disable, okay, then Quit. And then I'm going to run the game again. And then I'm going to try to press the toggle button to see if it works. If it doesn't, that means mod manager is actually really mod managing the mod. Yeah, see here, I'm pressing the button. And it's not toggling. Not toggling. Okay, let me try to turn it back on. Because it's so simple to do. Let's try to turn it back on. So, yeah. Um, Vortex is really useful, but you really need to know how to manage it, like uh, connect the game and make sure that it's working. Once you've set it all up, then like installing mods is really easy. But yeah, the first thing you need to do is you need to set it all up perfectly. Okay, so now I'm enabling it. And then I'm going to run the game one more time. Okay, just to make sure, just to double check. Okay, come on. Yeah, see, now it's enabled. 
Yeah, so it's very easy to use once you know how to set it all up. So I hope this video helped you out. It's a deep dive. Uh, if you installed Vortex Mod Manager with, uh, through my other video, so this is a follow up to let you know how to set it all up. And I hope it, this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.